Good morning and welcome to St. Clement's Children's Chapel for April 18th, 2021. It is the third Sunday of Easter. Let us pray. O oh God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of the bread, open the eyes of your faith that we may behold him and all his redeeming work who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Last week we read from our New Testament, and we talked about how Jesus came and was in the presence of the disciples after his resurrection. And we talked about how the disciples were feeling, that they were scared and afraid. And this week, our New Testament Bible reading is also going to be talking about how Jesus visited the disciples and how he reassured them, telling them, peace be with you. Today's story we're going to read from the New Testament in a very special book that you might want to get with your mom and dad is called um, My Jesus Story Collection, and it was put together by a, a very neat man that you might look up on Google, and his name is Archbishop Desmond Tutu. So we're going to look at our Bible story from this very special collection of New Testament readings. We see here the women who went to the tomb of Jesus to prepare his body and they see the beautiful angels telling them that Jesus was no longer there and here we see that Jesus has risen and he is in the room where the disciples were and that's where we're gonna start in our story today A little while later, the disciples gathered to talk about what had happened. Suddenly, Jesus stood right in front of them. Peace be with you, Jesus said. The disciples were so frightened, they clutched each other and trembled. But Jesus said, don't be afraid. It is me. Look at my hands and my feet. Touch me but they still could not believe that Jesus was alive. Give me a piece of fish, said Jesus. He took the fish and ate it, and his followers were convinced Jesus really was alive and back with them again. They were so happy. They laughed and clapped their hands in joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Let's take a look at that picture one more time. We see Jesus and he's robed in white with his disciples. Can you imagine how the disciples must have felt? They saw their beloved teacher hung on a cross and put to death. They must have been so scared and frightened and they were all gathered together in fear of what might happen also to them. And then suddenly there's Jesus. He's right there with them and he is saying to them, peace be with you. It is me. I am with you. And Jesus says that to us too. There are many things in our lives that can cause us to be fearful. There are many things in our lives that may disappoint us. But Jesus says to us, peace be with you. I am with you always. And for that, we can rejoice always. Amen. Now, as our Savior Jesus taught us, we are bold to say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 
Now let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.